Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Linear Equations in One Variable. The given question is a man's age is three times his son's age. Ten years ago he was five times his son's age. Find their present ages. So guys let us see how we can solve this type of questions. The question is telling us here, the question is telling us here, a man's age is three times his son's age. So guys, we do not know his son's age. So let us assume that the son's present age is equal to x years. Let, let son's present age, present age is equal to x years. Guys, we do not know the son's age. So we are assuming son's present age to be x years. Now, a man's age is three times his son's age. That means if son's present age is x years, then man's present age, man's present age, man's present age is equal to or will be three times. That means three x. If son's age is x years, man's present x age will be. 3x years. This is what we got initially. Now, 10 years ago, that means 10 years before 10 years. Now, before 10 years. So, what happened before 10 years? Let us, let us note it down like this. Before 10 years, what happened? 10 years ago, he was 5 times his son's age. So, 10 years before, he was 5 times his son's age. That means, for example, if my current age is 30 years, 10 years before minus that means minus 10 my age will be 20 years if my present year age is 30 years so 10 years before my age will be 30 minus 10 i need to subtract 10 from 30 so that i can uh, get my age 10 years before if my present age is 30 years 10 years before my age will be 20 years that means i need to subtract 10 so before 10 years now, before 10 years, let us first of all write it down from this data. From this data, let us write it down what the equations we are getting. So, let us note it down. So, son's age will be, before 10 years, son's age will be, son's age is equal to x minus 10, x minus 10 years. As I told you, if my present is 30 years, before 10 years means I need to subtract 10 so that I can get my age before 10 years. So, son's age is, is equal to, uh, son's age is, is equal to, wh what is going to be son's age? Son's age is, is equal to x minus 10 years. Similarly, similarly, man's age, similarly, man's age is, is going to be, si similarly, man's age is, is equal to, here we consider 3x years. Here we consider 3x years. So, man's age is going to be 3x, 3x minus 10, 3x minus 10. Hope guys you are understanding this. This logic is very simple and very straightforward. If the present age is 3x years, 10 years before, the age will be 3x minus 10 years. So, we got this. Now, 10 years ago, now if you look here to the question, the question is telling 10 years ago, he was 5 times his son's age. 10 years ago, he was 5 times his son's age. Now this is something again the question has given. So man's age, again the question is telling us, 10 years ago, he was 5 times his son's age. His son's age 10 years before was x minus 10 years. Now 10 years before, man's age is 5 times his son's age. That means 5 into x minus 10 years. x minus 10 years. Hope you are understanding this. This is what being given. This is what being given. Now guys, you could see that. You could see that from here. From here you could see that we are getting two things. Let us name this one as equation 1. And let us name this one as equation 2. Why? Because you could see that we calculated out man's age. We calculated out man's age from the data, initial data, we calculated out man's age to be, man's age to be 3x minus 10 years. And from this, and the question has given us man's age to be 5x minus 10 years. That means for the same man, we got two equations or we calculated out 
because if the person is same that definitely his age will be same so we can write therefore equation 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 1 is equal to equation 2 equation 2 hope guys you are understanding this how because we calculated as for the same man as 3x minus 10 years and the question has given the as for the same man as 5x minus 10 years the as for a particular person will remain same whatever the way we calculate so for that reason we are saying equation 1 is equal to equation 2 or we can write what we can write now we can replace the values for equation 1 as 3x minus 10 from where I got this one I got this value from equation 1 is equal to equation 2 that is 5 x minus 10 this is what we got now let us solve these equations or I can write 3 x minus 10 is equal to 5 into x is 5 x minus 5 into 10 is 50 so what we got we got 3 x minus 10 is equal to 5 x minus 50 uh, 5 x minus 50 now now or in other words or in other words I can also write or let us continue like this or I can write what I can write or I can write let us move the x the variables having x the numbers having x together and the numbers without x together so here I can write 3x minus 10 minus 5x is equal to 3x minus 10 minus 5x is equal to minus 50 so what I did here I just moved this 5x to the left side so that means transposing 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 plus 5x from right hand side from right hand side to left hand side and guys we very well know that if we move a number from one side to the other its sign changes so here it was in the right hand side it was plus 5x when we moved it it became negative 5x or I can write what I can write or I can write 3x minus 5x is equal to minus 50 plus 10 minus 50 plus 10 what I am doing here again I am transposing Tra again I am transposing minus 10 from left hand side to right hand side to right hand side so minus 10 when it moved to the right hand side it became plus 10 or I can write minus 2x is equal to minus 40 or I can write minus 2x into minus 1 is equal to minus 40 into minus 1 what I am doing here multiplying 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 minus 1 to both sides multiplying minus 1 to both sides guys why I am multiplying minus 1 to both sides I want to eliminate this negative signs I want to eliminate this negative signs guys we always if we get negative sign if we want to eliminate then we need to multiply with minus 1 why because we know that minus into minus is plus plus into minus is minus minus into minus is plus so for that reason I have multiplying minus 1 to both sides of the equation or I can write what I can write or I can write 2 x is equal to 40 or I can write what I can write or I can write 2 x divided by 2 is equal to 40 divided by 2 what I am doing here I am dividing I am dividing both sides I am dividing both sides by 2 I am dividing both sides by 2 or I can write or I can write x is equal to 20 how these two these two it cancels out and this 2 20 is a 40 or 2 2 is a 4 so this is what we got what we got we got x value as 20 we got x value as 20 now guys if you look here if you look to the top what we initially assumed uh, what we initially assumed let sons present age is equal to x years that means we got sons age to be 20 because we got the value for x is 20 so 20 years we got similarly man's present age is equal to 3x years that means 3 into 20 that is equal to 60 years so guys what we got here we got the is we got the is for man as well as for this pre son's present is now the question asked us to find their present is now let us note down our concluding answer find their present ages let us note down our concluding answer 
always it is, for this type of questions we should always write our concluding answer so we can say that hence hence we can say that hence the present is hence the present sons is hence the present sons is is equal to is is hence the present sons is is 6 years uh, is 20 years because we got the value for x is 20 here so hence the present sons is is 20 years and the present and the present man's is man's is is 60 years hope guys you understood this you need to write something in your own words so 60 years hope guys you understood this this question is very simple and very straightforward but still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe and let your friends know if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.